G'day guys, today I'm going to take you through the setup for NB Miner using the Kapow algorithm uh, with Unminable. Um, I know I've said this if you've seen some of my other videos, I like Unminable because it gives you the ability to mine against um, one set of algorithms and then be paid in coins uh, that are not those. So for example, if you're mining the Etherhash, um, your Ethereum is automatically converted to whatever coin. Now, at the moment, I'm get, uh, collecting TRX, um, but there are a bunch of other coins that you can look at. Uh, and it gives you the opportunity to pick something that you think has growth potential. All right, so to get straight into this, because this is not a uh, talking head type video, that's not really my thing. Uh, the first step you want to do is head across to the NB Miner page. Um, and I'll put the link for that down in the description below. Uh, once you've done that, obviously download the required uh, the required files. Just note, Windows Defender has a bit of uh, like having a bit of a heartache uh, with this one. <clears throat> and like a lot of other mining software, it's been used by a lot of people as payload on Trojans and other stuff. So. A lot of the stuff inside Windows will automatically uh, flag it um, because it's used to seeing it inside other stuff, if that makes sense. So all right, let's uh, assume we've got through the part of actually downloading the stuff. Let's have a look at the setup. And it is very, very simple. So what do you want to do? The folder that you've uh, put this into, uh, you want to create a new text file. So come across, create a new text file, and you want to select the whole thing now, if you're not seeing the .txt here, it means that you don't have extensions visible. Uh, you need to make sure extensions are visible in your file options to be able to see that. Now, let's just rename this one uh, start test.bat. So the important bit is the .bat, uh, which will change the type of file. All right, there we go. That's what we want to see. So we'll bring that up. Once you've done that, it'll change the symbol on it. Uh, right click on it, come up to edit, and it will open itself up inside a notebook like this. <clears throat> now just for ease, I'm gonna cut and paste the string to put inside here. Uh, the string will be likewise down in the description of the video. Uh, the important bits in this one is we're using the Kapow algorithm. Uh, put, select your coin here before this first column put in your wallet address, followed by a dot, and then the miner name. Every miner you have must have a unique name, otherwise this won't work. And then this bit here is just my referral code, which will get you lower fees on inside the system. All right, so we close that out. <coughs> and now we just double click on this bat file. So this is what we want to see. So this first bit will take a couple of minutes, uh, but depending on the speed of your uh, system. So I'm using a TI uh, 1080, sorry, a GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, so not the newest of uh, graphics cards. However, the advantage that this has is it has a larger amount of uh, video RAM than some of the other cards in that time. Uh, which means it's still able to keep up with the increasing file sizes and memory requirements. So what you'll note now, once this starts, so this is looking good so far, um, but you'll notice at the moment that it's, uh, this first one will say zero hash rate, the second one should give us an actual hash rate, which is good, uh, but it has nothing, nothing in the accepted, rejected uh, for the shares. So before we go back to the unmineable site, just to check that it's registering there, we want to see it come up and say, accept like one accepted share in here, so to speak. What that then means is not only are we hashing, uh, but the pool is receiving those hashes and the pool is giving us shares and thus awarding us um, coins, so to speak. So I just give that a quick minute and didn't even need to. <laughs> so if you have a look here, you'll see this green line here, share accepted. Uh, that is exactly what we want to see. That's good, that's healthy. The number ones come up here. And this tells us that at the moment, 
everything is working exactly as we accept, uh, expect at the moment. So come back into the unminable web page, put your wallet address inside uh, the box here. And what will happen in a couple of minutes is the worker will appear here and the amount of our balance will start ticking up. Uh, they're the last checks. Once that starts happening, everything's good to go. You're mining correctly. Uh, and then it's just a case of keeping an eye on your, um, your setup. Just remember, and this is one of the bits, normally I put this right up the front of the video, but I've made a bunch of these sort of things now. So, you know, put it, put it wherever. Uh, just remember, there's always a risk when you're mining. There's always a risk to your equipment. Make sure that you don't drive it too hard. Um, as long as your rig doesn't get to excessive temperatures and it's not constantly heating up and cooling down, it should be okay. But just understand that there's always a risk. Go eyes wide open into it. Um, and then, you know, understand the risks, take the risks if you choose to take the risks. Um, while we're waiting for this bit to come up, one of the other things that you should always consider if you're going to mine like this is do some calculations between um, the cost of firstly your equipment, um, you know, what would you normally be using it for, what are you now not using it for, um, factor then in electricity. Uh, and then compare that against the actual coin output you're getting uh, to make sure that you are actually uh, making profit in this, if that makes sense. And also on the last bit, when it comes to coin selection, um, Unminable has a lot of different coins that you can choose to be paid into. Uh, do a bit of research because you want a coin that has potential to grow, ultimately. Um, if you don't, then you might as well be just being paid back in Ethereum, um, if that's what you're gonna mind. The reason I say that, and the reason it's uh, really important to do that research is, say for example, you're mining into something and over the next six months before you decide to get or sell it, it doubles in price. Then effectively, your mining rate has been doubled. Conversely, if you pick something which doesn't have a good long-term future, uh, you can turn your X amount, you know, of potential profit into a fairly hefty loss. So just make sure, especially when there's a lot of volatility in the market as it is at the moment, uh, that you're doing your research on all of these things. All right. Right, there we go. <clears throat> so if we come across here now, you'll see that the rig has started counting up and payout amount has started counting up. Underneath Kapow, we now have our worker, which I named Test. Um, that hash rate's a bit slow, but I'm obviously recording at the moment as well. Um, but this is everything that you wanna see. All right, guys, just to finish out, uh, the reason why I recommend putting the referral code, apart from the fact that it you know kicks back a small amount to me, is once you put the referral code in at the end of your string, it reduces your um, <clears throat> the fees that the site charges from 1% down to 0.75%. Uh, so you save, you I guess save dash earn a little bit more and a small amount comes to me as the person that's referred. So if you can, that'd be awesome guys. But anyway, um, I, hope you, I hope this is useful. If it is, please like and subscribe and have yourself an amazing day.